Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 24 of my Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode playthrough. And yeah, my tree farm seems to have uh, backed up again. So, this stuff put away. And yeah, it's, uh, it's going to take a little bit here to get it emptied out, but I'm going to try switching this thing over. Actually, I'm going to keep those on me just in case. That can go away, though. Hey, there we go. Oh, and it picked it up, didn't it? Yep. All right, so I want to try using Ironwoods if I can. And let's go ahead and put that away. Well, it picked up the sapling anyway, so that's a good sign. All right. Let's get some of this stuff out of here. And let's go ahead and get some bone meal, I guess. Now, one thing this tree farm doesn't do is, for some reason, it doesn't activate fast leaf decay or quick leaf decay, one of the two. So you end up with things like that happening. All right, and we'll just got tons of butterflies around here. Oh, let's grab the saplings here. Nothing else, this farm is good for turning dirt into sand. Slowly, but it does. All right, you can break. What can you? We're just waiting on this tree here. We're just cutting it down now, okay. Now, do you recognize these as valid trees? Sure do. Okay. You pick up all the drops. Well, you would probably if there was room. Yep, you do. Okay. Awesome. So let's get that out of here now. And we can put the sugar maple away. I was thinking about doing biomass, but I might still in the future. But because the leaves don't actually decay like I want them to. Yeah. Problems. So let's go ahead and be my engineer's hammer. There it is. Okay, you're gonna be set to output. This area has its own little trunk loader here too. I just countersunk and the villager prisons underground. <laughs> Alright, so do that. Plant some. Sweet. Alright. Energy cable, like so, which this connection isn't needed anyway, so we'll just uh, do that. And squeezer here. Uh, squeezer's going to get power, yep. And what I want this thing to do is squeeze up iron berries. Now, every time you squeeze an iron berry, there's a uh, was a 5% chance of getting a tiny pile of iron dust. We're going to put that there, and you, hmm. really, one of the few remaining sugar, ma or sugar maple leaves, dropped a sapling, so let's get that out of there. I don't want to gum it up the system, if I can avoid it. But you are going to extract, always active, you'll be insert, let's see if I need to worry about um, filtering this. And we're going to have you and you go there. You're going to be for that. Yes, we do have to worry about filtering this. All right, so there's a couple options for that. One is, this is going to be, well, first of all, set to input. 
We're going to set that just a higher priority. And then we'll put this one here. And you're, you're going to be insert at a higher priority as well. Say like 11. And you're going to be insert. This one here will be saplings. You know what? I don't need this one sapling here. That can go away. All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this out of here because I can't squeeze that down. Shove that into there. And let's get some more bone meal going here. Let's get another tree. See how this thing does. As soon as it finds it. There it goes. And well, the logs are going where they belong. You can use ironberry went into here, being squeezed. Awesome. And now we're just going to say put a um, I'll yeah, we'll put the tank here, and you, my friend, will be. Uh, yeah, you're gonna pull into here, and then if I wanted to, I could do one. Two and three. You're going to push on those three sides. And these things will hold 6,000 millibuckets a piece. And the thing is, is when iron berry juice dries, it also makes tiny piles of iron dust. That's probably good for now without that, so. Just do that. Yeah, unfortunately, forestry farms don't take out the leaves. vein mining it probably should be be holding something in my hand right so the other option I could do here though is over to this side and take out a couple zombies all right we're going to you're gonna be insert on brown oh no you'll be all right, insert green Extract on brown. And you'll be... Insert on brown. This one here is going to be for... These. Now let me... Do I have my key on me? I do. Sweet. Go ahead and lock our drawers. And now... Need to also probably do this. We're gonna extract on blue, always active. You're going to be insert on blue. And get some saplings going. And I just got five tiny piles of iron dust. There we go. Let's go ahead and grow that one. You all go away. You can all go away. So the last thing I'm going to need, which is unfortunately going to make it look a little bit tacky, probably. Well, kind of. Right. Throw a torch down. Make it look a little bit nicer here. Hmm. 
Okay, brand new fiery boots. Oh no, almost broken fiery boots. Durability bar was down so far, I didn't see the uh, grain, so I thought it was fully repaired. Alright. Okay, you go away. And let's just go ahead and adjust the sides so I don't have the arrows there. And we'll get this thing out. Get these two drying basins out. And like one, two. South, auto extract. North, auto extract. And then let's see if I can get, say, one more drawer down here. Set to the tiny piles. I think I can go through. Yep, there's one in there, so. Always active. Always active. I'm being shot by a golem. <sighs> and then this guy can be ignoring that. You will be insert. And it does. Awesome. And you've got zero saplings in you. That's just overflow. <sighs> Zombies. Good. Everybody gone. There we go. And then these guys, they just, you can smelt them to iron nuggets. Actually, I didn't need to do that, but I'll just put them away for now. And that'll be something I do in the future. But I figure this little small solar panel here should be enough to keep this thing relatively topped off. And these machines don't actually take a lot of power. Go ahead and head on back home here. Get some of this stuff put away. I was going to set down this advanced solar generator, but... Yeah. Got to thinking about it. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to bother. So, magma anvil. I have the scoop. Thank you. And my sentient sword. I did manage to get this, uh, the gem here full. But I didn't actually do a whole lot of uh, blood magic stuff off camera. I went and explored for, oh uh, god, hour and a half or so. Here, right up to here, I still had a boat sitting on the shore, so I just kind of went across. Uh, sirens, pirates, sirens, pirates, pirates, sirens, sirens. No sea serpents though. I did manage to find another hippocampus up here. so. Soul piled them and brought them back home. I need some food. Oh, yeah, I, need, I definitely need some food here. Need some dairy. There you go. Got my toughness back. You didn't split. Now, this thing worked great. So, probably should go ahead and toss some more aquamarine in there. I only got it up to 18 buckets, and this thing will hold 64. So I didn't put more in the last time because I didn't want to waste aquamarines by not having room for them to go in there. Yep. Hey, don't ignore me. Let's see if I can find my little buddy over here now. Up, oh, you're dead. Oh, it's this. I like it's a spider jockey. Okay, there was a spider jockey. Uh, yep, there we go. I got a green and a red one now. And they're friends. Where are you at, dude? You're there. Alright, let's, uh... 
Oh, there we go. Uh, soul vial, right? All right, and you did. But yeah, I am definitely pre-recording all of this stuff, so uh, usually a couple weeks until it comes live. And that guy just kind of dated my content a little bit, but he had a little Santa hat on, so. Thank you, Thermal, for the, the joy of the holidays. All right. Go away. Go oh, and fizzles. So what do I have for uh, vials right now? I have Witch, Towerwood Borer, Shulker, times two, Bazals, Siren, Parrots, and a Havana Doe. Alright, now, can I... Nope, I can't make any of that. Also, why did you just grab all of that thing? So what you can do is... You know what? I got enough. Let's just do that and that. Uh, if you put in a block of quartz and four actual quartz, it becomes two fused quartz. So, I can do that now. And soul sand, right? And then gold. Mix with solarium. How much power does that take to you? A thousand. Not terrible. I just got a half stack of used cords, which is pretty handy, honestly. I can make better, like, conduits with it, and I can make soul vials. Do that, and... Yep. They seem to have used up all of them. And then they just go in my, my wonderful backpack here. And I have another arboretum that I set up, or that I made, and I can't remember why I made it, so... All right. Let's take a look at our quest book. Let's see what it wants us to do next. Ah, oh, Thumbcraft. Yeah. Astrals. I actually haven't done any quests, it looks like. Ah, uh, the farmer would be a good idea to have, though. It requires four blocks of Inori crystal, though. I only had ten blocks of iron left. But, worth it. All right, and the farmer. Now this thing, okay, doesn't upgrade anything else, but the farmers are pretty decent. So should I just go with the stereotypical like canola farm? I mean, that's the thing I could do though, right? Hmm. Honestly, as long as I've been playing, I've never actually uh, automated the uh, canola farms. Okay, also, that's where I know how to spell. Alright. Let's go ahead and get our solar gin out. Use that to power the farmer. And... I guess... Get a couple, uh, couple storage drawers. I've been looting every chest I come across, by the way. And yeah, so far it's working out for me. The watering cans. I probably could go ahead and make one of those. And then, can I upgrade it? Yep. I know I don't have the... Uh, I might be able to upgrade it to the Electrum tier. Uh, Yeah, I probably could. Let's go ahead and grab this solarium over here. Alright, so... Do what? Upgrade? Nope, I don't have any uh, fighter grow, huh? I don't have sawdust. That's pulverized charcoal? Yep. Okay, yeah, we're gonna hold off for a bit. Still haven't split. That's where I got the bucket from. I wondered. I didn't think I had any buckets in my system, and I didn't.
All right, now where to set this thing up at, though? Right here would probably be decent. That noise, something is behind you. Yeah, there's nothing there. It's the, the whole flux thing, though, from not flux, warp from Thomcraft. Hey, there we go. We're filling up a power. You can have those. Hey, worms. Awesome. I can probably get rid of that. I think it'll break any tall grass that it comes across, so. slower going because it's, you know, raining out or something. There, you're full grown? Yep, okay. How long are you going to take to get to it now? Eh, I got five canola out of it. Which I can then turn into seeds. Honestly, I think what I'm going to do instead of doing more of these farmers, because they're a little bit on the spinny side, is probably start with some, uh, making some garden cloches. One of these. Thermionic fabricator. You need an injector upgrade from industrial craft, which is tin plates and a piston, or dense tin plates and pistons for extras. All right. And I'm almost out of water again. Alright. Alright, and we'll just grab that. Put them to seeds, toss those into there. Just giving it a bit of a helping hand, just you know, at the start here. Do I still have that? I do. I got two of them now. Uh, in this pack, they do tend to die out a bit. So it doesn't really matter how you place them. And we'll just get that the hell out of here. I think they last, it's like a thousand ticks or something. It's not, maybe it's a thousand seconds. It's I mean, not, not extremely, you know, long, but they do help for getting this stuff go up and going. Greenhouse glass would definitely be a thing to do. I might do that eventually. Not high on the priorities right now, because it's actually kind of sort of expensive. But let's go ahead and look at our quest reward here for this. And... We got 64 legacy black carpets. I kind of like it, honestly. Up oh, and incoming mobs. Hmm. I got a zombie over there. I was looking to see if there's any skeletons close by. Oh, hey, more worms. 
that there, and then we'll put that one there, I guess. Okay, yeah, they don't break flowers. Gotcha. Okay. Looks like it's dealing with tall grass just fine, but not flowers. Go away. So... Get some more seeds going here, and... Oh, skeleton. One. Oh, he's gonna get killed by the wolf. Eh. Just creepers. Alright, let's get some of this stuff put away. Seriously, a single bone. Well, I killed this because I want to make sure to hit him with looting three, but... But canola production, it's it's proceeding, so... Get inside away from the thunder. Alright. And I was going to hook this stuff up, but I'll worry about it later, I guess. Alright, so next, <clears throat> canola press probably wouldn't be a bad idea, though. That way I can actually process the stuff, you know? Do I need an advanced coil for this? Everything else, okay. I should have some basic coils left, so... Canola press, and then there's the, like, the fermenter. Fermenting barrel. Awesome. So here, let's go ahead and make a few of these wooden casings while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, quest complete. Canola press, canola and oil, which can be used to generate power. And the fermenting refines the oil. That's stage two out of four of canola. Ooh. Hello. Demonically gargantuan drum. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, give me a trash can, would you? Toss that stuff away. Carpet away. Another smart output from Tinker.io. And next, it's like, hey, uh, make some crystallized canola seeds. I can do that. Um, there we go. Like so. Now to go further into the uh, the canola quest line here, I needed a uh, empower chicken curry. Not bad. I will take it. So demonically gargantuan drum. That's gonna go over here. One of those things put there to remind me that hey, dummy. So I need an empower. Also. I made a single battery, but it didn't count because I used it to craft. Hmm. So what does it take? Oh, quickie, thank you. Uh, display, right? Need display stands times like five. Yep. Now I need a double battery for this thing, so let's go ahead and get the single battery made. Okay, let's uh, make one of these. And I need one of those. Make sure it reads it. Yep, it did. And then I'm going to need one of those, but I need another coil for that, huh? And I'm out of the regular coils. And it didn't last all that long. Silver, tent. Okay, aluminum is this one here. We didn't, oh yeah, I've still got plenty of biofuel in there. I think I have some rotten flesh sitting in here. Nope. Okay. No worries. Not my problem. Oh, 
Oh well. And let's just turn them all into advanced coils for now. Offhand, I think I can use them. All right, and then we'll upgrade our single to a double battery. And now I'm actually out of inori crystals. What can I do with the shards? Just those? Okay. Ding. So there's our single battery reward, which is a stack of soul sand. Not, not too shabby. And then the double battery reward is mall. Yeah. Again, not actually horrible. Some more aluminum wiring made up now. I need more coils, and I'm going to need Inori Crystal. I'm trying not to use up too much iron because my iron tree farm just started, so. Alright, so. Single coils are like that. And then I need to make a couple advanced. I need five of these display stands. There we go. And now I need 15 each of Athletic Quartz and Athletic Green Blocks. I need like 30. Now we're going to take half of these and turn them into Chisel Quartz here. Yep. Those with a laser, turns them into Athetic. Chiseled Quartz. Becomes the green Athetic. And then Advanced Coils. Hey, look! Display Stands. Now I need to turn one of these to an Empower. Which is going to require a couple of iron casings. Can I... Like, I just need a couple iron plates. Or sorry, iron sheet metal. Oh, yeah. I need my plate press back. And so no script. Recipe in progress. We'll just use this. And one, two. Hey, look, it's even two iron casings. Sweet. Then all I need now is double battery. Now we have the Empower. And just for fun, we're just going to set it up, uh, say, here for now. Two blocks of space. One, two, there. One, two, there, and... There. And... Oh, it only hits three of them. That's why... The other reason I set it over here. Serving five tiles. Awesome. So these will very slowly fill up. But... I, I've been completing quests like crazy here because of loot from dragons. The only thing I'm missing is Empowered Payless. I have a block of Palos that I found killing a dragon. So, uh, Empower a recipe. I need dense lapis plates, sapphire, geo blue slime, and cobalt. So you can go there. You can go there. There. Uh, lapis plates. I need dense, so... There's that, and then... Congealed Blue Slime. I've got 214 of those, so... Alright, awesome. Let's go ahead and put that away for now. And I don't need those coils on me. I'll put that away, too. Almost got the door. Alright, and compressor. Can have those. 
Let's make sure I didn't leave anything over here. You're done. Got my steel. All right, and that stuff away. Now, let's see. If I look at the uses for this, it takes 100,000. That's not bad. Uh, this one says takes 100,000. And the actual Empower recipes don't actually show a, uh, a total RF. These things had close to 80,000 apiece in them. And, yeah. Well, it was 100,000 for a single one. I'm making a block, so that's going to be a little bit on the different side here. Be what, a million even? Um, yep. Well, that was 320,000 right there, so. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit. But well, let's go ahead and claim the rest of these. And power diamantine, Estonia, Inori, the void. Hmm, somebody pissed off an Enderman. Oh, we go to you. Go away. Still didn't split. Like 12 buckets for right now. And we'll put the rain away. Alright. So, first one is hang glider. No, not terrible. Block a signalum. That's awesome because I haven't made any yet. Green balloons for mechanism. Uh, barbecue pole pork. And we're eating that. And auxiliary transmission coils. How bad are these normally? Uh, yeah, I can do high voltage wire coil and a reconstructor, or I can metallurgic confuse 160, or basically 16 redstone or two compressed, and a silver ingot. Yeah, that's a little on the spendy side now, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me, but uh, it would help if I could spell. There we go. Like a steam dynamo. It requires transmission coil, and other than that, it's not terrible. Hmm. Oh, look, it's done too. Sweet. Let's go ahead and break it up, and there we go. <coughs> and we'll put that away for now, I guess. Now, I'll just really clear this inventory up. And barbecue pulled pork is food. Oh, and Terrestrial Artifact was a uh, quest as well. Let's see, that's... Yeah, that's it there. Okay. Alright, so our Payless quest. And we have the Empower. And there's the Fishing Net that I made. That was a quest as well. Made that a while ago. Ooh, Dragon's Breath. Awesome. Mending Moss. Eh, it's okay. And 64 factory blocks. But since I forgot to get Dragon's Breath when I went to the nether or the end, learned something new. Actually, did I unlock the thing or do I actually have to be hit by it? Uh, Oromancy. Oh, Focus Medium Cloud. Oh, sweet. Thank you much. And I've been doing a, a little bit of research off camera for this because it's horrible to do on camera. But I've got quite a bit of theory saved up, so one thing I'm lacking on right now is Golemancy of all things. But let's see, Dragon's Breath. I can make an Ender Star now. This is like another stars. I can make the different swords from Cyclic, Atrophy, Decay, and Evasion. I can make Lingering Potions. Make alchemical or use alchemical brewer to make lingering potions. Uh, I can make the uh, looks like the downgrade stuff and blood magic, and then there's the halitosis generator. So. Not particularly great right now, but I got what I wanted out of it. 
Then the terrestrial artifact. Used to make lithrite crystals, among other things. But to make lithrite, I'm going to have to get into thermal. And I got a well. Hm. Water block. It works. Oh, sweet. They finally split. Should probably check that chicken out, too. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, eggs and feathers. I did some peeking at the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the, uh, the config for ice and fire. And I noticed that certain mobs' spawn rate is turned way the hell down. Bit of a shame, honestly. Because, like, I want a pet sea serpent. 86, 90. Nice. It actually went up by four. Let's start growing that one now. Uh, the sea serpent turned down by like a factor of five, I think. And they were already kind of rare, so. Like, great, thanks. But I will find one. It's just going to take a while. But, uh, yeah, some of the other things. I just wonder if the cockatrice spawn eggs from chickens has been disabled. That's the point of that little tangent I just went off on. So I can make spawner changers that requires diamantine. Yep. Which <clears throat> empowered diamantine is manulin, mana diamonds, zirconium, and malachite. Which I have no idea where malachite ore comes in at. Uh, overworld or deep dark? I need. How much, do I have any lithrite? No. Okay, I hear you, you little. It was very faint, but we have a, uh, a sprite from Inder.io around here somewhere. And I've been killed by those things a couple of times, trying to AFK. Hopefully he's in a cave system below me here and not just outside the wall. But let's go ahead and grab some canola seeds now. Because I can do... There's that. I'm going to need four of these. Then you turn them into regular seeds. But I can use this to do the tier four oil. Downside is it does require making another empowerer. But it doesn't take a whole lot of power to make those. Ultimate canola. And even further, like with crystallized seeds, so the empowered canola in the oil. Top tier food. Always edible. Buffs player. Not yet eaten. What does it taste like? Dairy grain and protein. 8%. Damn, that's awesome. And it gives me strength something. Strength 2, resistance 2 for a minute, huh? That's not terrible. But I'm already getting that from nutrition, so. I need a pet cat. Uh, automatic feeder. How bad is that? Simple. Okay. So, feeder. Which could actually come in handy. So, need a couple of these, though. Have I eaten golden carrots yet? No, I have not. Hmm. But like this thing, just place it down, give it food here, and it'll feed animals around here. Okay, that was wonderful. Eh, 18 buckets climbing, so. Uh, that can go into here, though. I am going to want to set up automatic farms for animals. Not sure which ones yet, but... Ooh, another ender pouch. I got a backup. That's awesome. I'm going to lose this thing sometime. I know it. And then the ball of fur, I need to tame a pet cat. And there's the crusher and the powered furnace. People are crushing blocks. Use the double ores to turn brace blocks into other blocks. And it requires an iron casing, cobblestone, coils, restonia. Okay. And that 
turns into Double Crusher or the Pulverizer. So I'm going to need to make one eventually anyway. Now, Crusher, I can get more sugar, get more dyes. Because right now I've got a Macerator that, you know, is beauty of overclocking actually generates ores pretty quickly. Or, well, processes pretty quickly. And this has a, it's like a 10% chance to get the bonus out of this. I can use it to uh, do horse armor that I get from loot, but... Hmm. Honestly, I mean, like, that's that's kind of a cool recipe, but I can do that in the mini factory as well, which is something else that works pretty damn decent, honestly. Uh, let's see. Ender Amethyst Dust. Uh, I can combine it into ore. And... Yeah. Oh, why I would want the ore. Might think for a reason later on, but it's okay. So, Indra Amethyst Dust is useless. Um, do -do 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 -do. Oh, wait a second. That was Bombcraft Amber. One. Oh, no, it's. Oh, yeah. Either or. If it spits out, I almost plenty Amber. Hmm. Oh, Appetite. Okay. Didn't recognize it first. Now, why would you want to do this? Resonating redstone crystal into redstone. Just, why? I'm not seeing anything here that, uh, yeah, I can't live without. Yeah, I don't think I'm really going to bother doing this right now because I don't want, I don't feel like making more iron casings at this moment. At this moment. Up, oh, yep. Just broke. But, immense living rock, get some more living wood. Alright. Careful not fall in that hole, by the way. It goes to that ravine. Do -do 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 -do. Let's come over here and check on our canola farm. Uh, it's not chunk loaded. Okay. And then our tree farm over here, though. This one is chunk loaded. The problem is it's throwing all the saplings into the top left slot, the north side. Well, the north side was fine. Got plenty of saplings. Other sides, not so much. Alright, so... Hmm. Come and check to see how this was doing, and I never turned that on. There we go. And I could put a circuit board in here if I wanted it to run faster, so... I think the bottleneck might be how quick iron berry juice dries, but... I don't know. Keeping up with the squeezer, anyway. At least on the, the moving Ironberry. Well, and we're up to 12 now, so... Eight stacks of wood, though. Oh, it's not terrible. And I've got a zebra swallowtail. There we go. Butterfly. Okay, awesome. So, get this stuff put away. That stuff I'll put away. And, yeah. So, I'm going to get some materials and stuff and things together here. There we go. 
it wasn't converting fast enough. You are my living rock. So this is living wood on this side. Yep, get more living wood going. I can make some more arcane stone, turn to living rock, all that fun stuff. There we go. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series, and until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.